What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Copycat Cocktails. My name is Josh. If you guys missed last week, we did, uh, what did we do last week? Oh, that's right. We did some onward drinks, which are actually really fun and uh, pretty cool. We did a mocktail and we did a cocktail. We had uh, the Guinevere and the uh, Phoenix Gem. So pretty cool. They're really fun. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. This week, we are doing a little bit of a moana e e uh, tiki theme. And if you guys don't know, Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock, just released uh, his brand new line of tequila, uh, Terramana. And... So I thought it'd be kind of cool to make a drink that involves tequila. I hate tequila, like, I don't like it at all. But this drink that I made today, I actually really like. Uh, I saw some leftover from the uh, slow-mo shoot. And it is quite smooth and quite good. See, I didn't even make a face. Normally if I don't like it, I make a face. So, uh, cocktail, we're also gonna be making a mocktail. That mocktail is going to be the Pua Pina Colada. Uh, it probably could be frozen, but we're not going to make it frozen today. <sighs> Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start by making the mocktail, the Pua's Pina Colada Punch. I missed that the first time. We're going to start off with some pineapple juice. You can always buy your own pineapple juice if you want. Um, this is leftover from the first one that we did, and it's been in the freezer, so it should be good. And we are going to do four ounces of pineapple juice. Well, this is really thick. Do, 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 do. Now I will say that I really, really enjoyed uh, Moana. I thought it was like a really good, I thought it was a really great movie. I think The Rock did a pretty great job too, playing Maui. Uh, obviously the songs are super catchy. When they were advertising the movie a little bit, they kind of made it seem like Pua might be a little bit of a bigger character, even though he's really not. So uh, a little drink just for him. All right, so we've got our pineapple juice. We're gonna do one ounce of the coconut cream, and it needs to be coconut cream and not coconut milk. They are a little bit different. We're gonna juice half a lime. We're looking for about a half ounce of lime juice. Let's see how this baby turns out. So that is pretty darn close. So I wanna make sure that this drink is served cold. And since it's not a slush, I'm gonna throw some ice in it. I'm gonna shake it up and then I'm just gonna pour it straight into our uh, glass. Mm, smells quite good. And last but not least, so when I shot the high speed stuff earlier, I tried to open this up for uh, just to see, and it literally exploded all over me. We're good. Perfect. All right, let's see how it tastes. That's pretty good. It's refreshing. It's not super light because of that cream of coconut and using real pineapple juice that we've um, taken and basically just blend it all up. Does make it a little more thick, but I really, really like that. You know, it's nice that it's not like a regular punch or like a regular frozen pina colada. It still has that same flavor. And I kind of thought that we totally made this recipe up uh, just kind of trying to mix some things together. I thought I might change a little bit I think, and, and if I would, I think I might just add a little bit more lime juice to it. Um, other than that, I think it's actually really good. I think it's perfect. Now, if you really want to, you get a little fancy. Garnish this up. With a little piece of orange. I don't cut my fingers off as well. Maybe I should go this way. I like it better this way. My producer's giving me some really terrible looks right now about how I just uh, topped off my glass here with my orange. All right, next we are going to make the Maui drink using Dwayne Johnson's Terramana Tequila. We're gonna start with one and a half ounces. If I can pour this properly. 
You know, a lot of people were really nervous about him playing Maui in Disney's Moana, but I think he did a really great job. I really liked it. It is probably one of my favorite animated movies, especially the sing-along parts. Uh, that whole like little quick rap that he's got is bomb.com. Natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. Oh, that was Maui just messing around. Next, we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of orange juice, and we're gonna use real orange juice this time. I think that it makes for a better drink rather than using carton, my little orange juicer. And hopefully this half of an orange gets me three quarters of an ounce, because if it doesn't, we're gonna be in trouble. That's all I got left. More than enough. Next, we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Yeah, I kinda knew that one was about spent. Oh, I think that lemon is just a wee bit short of what I need, but that's okay. It'll work. I'm making a giant mess on this table today. Next to last, we're gonna use a quarter of an ounce of lime juice. Hopefully add a little bit of a bite to the drink in addition to the tequila. All right. And the last but not least, we're gonna do a half an ounce of simple syrup to add just a little bit of sweetness back to it. Um, I actually might even go three quarters of an ounce here. And uh, this simple syrup, you can make it yourself at home, but I actually just ended up buying this at Publix. And you can get it at Walmart or Publix, anywhere where they kind of have like the mixed drink cordials and things like that. Uh, basically what we need to do now is add our ice, shake it up, serve it, in our, this is the Krakatoa punch glass. I know I don't have a cool Maui glass. Sorry, Mr. Johnson, in case you're watching. Trying to get a little fancy there at the end. Now, technically you should serve this with crushed ice. Obviously we don't have crushed ice, so I'm just gonna kind of pour it in as is. And hopefully it should be Perfect. Just enough. And we're now gonna top that off with our orange slice, which I've already pre-cut. I'm gonna get rid of that little piece of ice right there. Whew. Bottoms up. Cheers. Mm. Wow. That is good. I like I think that is like super smooth. A little bit of a bite in there with that lime uh, and the citrus. And just enough sweetness from the simple syrup. So you could make this with like a lime cordial or even a lemon cordial, anything that has a little bit more sweetness to it to pack a little bit more of that sweet factor. But I think it's pretty good. Maui, 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 Maui. You're so amazing. This is quite good. Awesome. Yeah, it is really good. I mean, I do like a good margarita, but other than a margarita, I don't really drink tequila in a drink. No. So with this basically just being a citrus drink, I mean, it's orange, lemon, and lime juice, Yeah. essentially. It's pretty good. It is. It's fantastic. Thank you to everybody out there watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you've got something in mind that you'd like to see us make, make sure to drop it down in the comments below. Next week, I think we're going to be bringing you a little bit of flower and garden. Uh, some more popular drinks we'll see um, if there is something special that you'd like to see from flower and garden festival make sure to leave it in a comment below and as always if you enjoyed this video make sure to give us a matt the technician or randy the intern thumbs up uh in this video and uh yeah cheers to copycat cocktails and hopefully we'll see you all in the next one this orange is getting all over my face. <laughs> ah, that is so good. Mm.